Hey, this is Luke with Salt Strong. We have another lure test. This is the gulp shrimp versus the live target shrimp. And let's check these things out. And it's really a, a sight play. So this is, they went the, the extra mile to make this thing look as realistic as possible. Is it worth it? I don't know, it's much more expensive. And then the gulp, it's just a, a traditional gulp, rigged on a jig head, way less expensive. And it's really about a scent play. So scent versus sight. And, uh, and we're gonna go fish these, so three casts and three casts. So we're gonna fish down this shoreline, three casts for one, three casts for the other. We're gonna keep repeating, and we have the, the variables minimized. So we have these rigged on the same rods, the same reels, the same line. The only difference is that the live target is on this rod with the blue tape. The gulp shrimp is on the, the rod with no tape. And again, we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna fish down this dock line, and we're gonna record what species are caught, the size difference, and just, and just how it performed, how many fish each one was able to catch. So let's get started. Not a big guy, but we're on the board. Let's get this guy off. Shrimp right there in the corner of his mouth. Still in good shape. All right, so one to nothing. Yeah, that was the final cast. The final, that was the third cast for that one. So it's gonna go ahead and do the switch. So every three, three casts, just doing this, doing the switch to keep it fair. And, uh, and what I'm doing is I'm just casting right up there near those pilings and I'm just slow jigging it right down there in, uh, in the action. Uh, these, uh, the cold front just came through. So we just had a, a cold, you know, high pressure system come in and that's pushing the water down. The water's real low. Those fish are gonna be a little bit lethargic today. So it's really about getting a little jig, getting, I call it low and slow. And uh, this is the perfect type of conditions to be fishing little jigs like this. So uh, yeah, right now it's just all about just covering, covering ground. Oh, it's bounced right off that piling. And that's gonna drop straight down and that is right in the strike zone. Let's see if we can get another one to come out to eat. I just, oh, I just had a hit. So I'm basically slow bouncing again. It's feeling for those strikes. Those strikes will happen on the downturn. Ooh, didn't want to come back. Oh, there we are. All right, we got something else. This is a little grouper, so a little fella. Yeah, never know what you're going to catch throwing jigs by the docks. And this is another on the shrimp. Ooh, there we are. Oh man, I just missed something. So this is with the uh, live target and just had something on when it got off. Let's see if he comes back and eats it. No, but at least uh, he got a strike. That was the first legit strike with it. I'll try this next dock and just get it right down there in the pilings. There we go. I'm not sure what this is. It's like another little grouper. Another. Oh, this is a sea bass. This is actually a big sea bass. For inshore, that's a that's a pretty good sized sea bass. So sea bass on the gulp shrimp. All right, we'll let that puppy go. The gulp shrimp is definitely in the lead. It seems like it's weird to keep getting the bites on that third cast. Let's get another one up there, see if there's some more fish. Oh, there we are, got him. All right, so this is on the live target. So we are on the board with the live target, another little grouper. Must be a bunch up down there. Guy's got it right in the corner of his mouth. There we are, a little, little fella. Let's see if we can go two in a row. And again, a lot of times where there's, where there's some grouper, that, that typically means there's some structure of some sort down there. And, um, and that, could, that could mean there's all sorts of fish. So even, even when catching some little small stuff, I always like to make another cast or two. Never know. Oh, there we are. Got him. Oh, I just got off. That felt like another little grouper. I was actually 
messing around with the trolling motor at that point, and I just let it, it was basically just sitting on the ground, and that thing picked it up. That's just how, how lethargic they are right now. They are not going to be hitting these things very aggressively. Something's on. There we are. Oh, now we got a jack. So that might have been what I missed there. So, all right, so now we got a jack to the list for a live target. Got had it hooked right there on the right there on the nose. Perfect hook placement. There we are. I think we might be in a little school of jacks. This feels like another one. Nope. No, a little grouper. A little grouper on the shrimp. On the gulp shrimp. Add it to the list. I believe that's five to two if my memory's correct. I'm just gonna go ahead and move out of that area. Seems like there's all little small ones. We're just gonna keep on going down the line and see if we can finally find some bigger fish. Yeah, but five to two. And what I'm doing is just going down the shelf. So in that case, I wasn't even near the docks. I was, I was hoping to get a trout. There's a little uh, seagrass ledge. And so I'm just, just bouncing on the bottom near that ledge. And that, uh, that grouper came up and smacked it. Oh man, missed the, dang it. Oh, got him again. <laughs> that was basically sitting down there. Ah, oh, that's another jack. Jack on the live target. Well, even though this cold front came in, there's some feeding fish. Yeah, this thing is pretty tough. It is, it is in good shape. I guess that was fish number three or four with it. Still in good shape. Something just hit me. Got another one. All right, this might be just another jack. <laughs> yeah, another jack. I think we got in another mess of jacks here. So we're gonna go over the next dock. These are becoming a little bit too aggressive. Yeah, these are some really aggressive fish. A lot of fun. They fight good, and even on tough fishing days, they will gladly eat for you. All right, well, I got some bad news. I had something nice with that live target, and it got me wrapped up in this dock and game over. Super bummed, and that was the only one of those live targets that I have. So we're going to have to end, the, uh, end day one on that note, um, whereas both lures caught fish. The live target was down just a hair, but I mean, it was so close and, and a lot of the fish caught were jacks. Yeah, that thing, uh, whatever it was, got me wrapped around the piling and that, that leader just totally, totally broke. Such a bummer. So as far as the conclusion on this test, I, I think that we could safely say that both of these lures catch fish uh, and, and fishing docks like this, um, both lures can work, can work great, right? We had a lot of fun. That was a short time fishing. Although we didn't catch any giants, we caught a lot of fish. It was a lot of action. So um, if you have used these lures, I'd love to hear your feedback. Leave a comment down below. Uh, it could be good. It could be bad. We're not biased here. We're not going to take anything down. So leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. And I'll be getting some more of these live targets now that I see they work so that we can do some more analysis like this to, uh, to identify the situations where it's, it's smart to spend the extra money and then the situations where you might as well just go with some, some cheaper options. Thanks so much for your time and watching this video. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the online fishing club that guarantees you'll be catching more saltwater fish while saving money on all the tackle you need. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon.